In this video, we will see developing a spectral indices from Landsat bands in R. So, we will be using library raster and then set the working directory and reading the bands. So, these are the bands available. We can plot any. Suppose B5 is NIR band. So, this is the band 5. Now, we can calculate in any index using the formula. Suppose for NDVI is NIR minus R means B5 and 4 here divided by B5 plus 4. Now we can plot it. So this is the NDVI. Similarly, if you are using any index which, which is having some coefficients, so first we have to define those coefficients like in here in case of SEVI it is L. So this is the default value. We can change it. So L is 0.5 then write the formula of savvy and then plot so this is soil adjusted vegetation index similarly if it is modified savvy so this is the formula then we can plot it now one by one we can create indices using formula so there is one index that is rs toolbox so before that, before going to this RS toolbox, we will create a stack of all the bands using function stack. You can plot it to get all the bands, then see the names. Now this RS toolbox is now for newer version of R, it's not available. So you have to install it from GitHub. So for that you need first library dev tools and then install underscore github function you have to use and install the library rs toolbox now call this library and then this function is a spectral indices so you have to provide the stack this is stack and define the blue blue green red nir suit 2 and suit 3 means short wave infrared 2 and 3 so this is a blue band is band 2 then green band 3 so accordingly you have to write and then in one go it will be creating more than 15 indices so i will run it it's giving a warning message like evi and evi2 parameters l evi g are defined for reflectance but image values are outside of this which means we are not using the reflectance value we are using the dn value so for that you have to use scaling factor anyway so one good feature of this function is whatever bands you are providing the indices which can be calculated by those bands will be calculated so you see how many indices we have calculated this is 19 20 21 indices can be calculated from these six bands so we can plot it So, if you are plotting multi raster stack, you will see only four, 16 of those. If you are having more, you have to use like plot indices and then you have to write like this because 17 to 21. One more you have to use actually. like this now so as i told that if you are providing in less number of bands suppose only four or five red and infrared then whatever indices which can be calculated from these two bands will be calculated so we will see that also suppose i am using indices dot one and and providing only two bands we will run it now plot it so with these two bands we can generate 14 indices similarly if you want only suppose you want only one index index like NDVI so that also you can provide one argument like this so you can see this is the NDVI now if you want not only NDVI but also NDVI and NDWI so for NDWI you, you need green band also so that you have to provide and indices you can write 
as a list combination using this C and then plot it. This is NDVIA and NDW. Now, as you were getting warnings of EVI, EVI, we can again calculate it using suppose scale factor actually scale factor of suppose 10,000. Now, so EV, EVI and EVI2 both are calculated. So, now we can plot it. Also, the next seven you can plot like this. So, this is how we can calcul easily calculate the station indices in R using formula and RS toolbox library. Thank you for watching.